Good morning, everyone. This is Truby. I'm a certified aromatherapist graduate of New York Institute of Aromatic Studies. And for today, we will have another very interesting topic. I've never really discussed this ever, even on my YouTube channel, even on my IG lives before. Today's topic is magical aromatherapy and rituals. So I'm very excited to present to you our special guest. She practices magical aromatherapy, she does tarot reading, she does natal charting and astrology, also psychism, and new age spirituality. She's no other than Georgia Gale. Hello, Georgia! Hello! Hi! Nice to meet you, Jerby! Nice to finally meet you! Can you please tell us yeah. more about yourself? Okay, so I've been using essential oils, or EO, as we call it and to incorporate it with my spells and rituals but most commonly i use it for magical aromatherapy also because it's the commonest thing most people try to to use it with magical aromatherapy when i when we talk about magical aromatherapy is using essential oils like for example to cleanse the vibe of the room it can be as simple as that it's, a, it's already a, it's already an act of magic so when we talk about uh, magical aromatherapy, it's very, it's a very diverse topic. Because there are lots of, of ways in using magical aromatherapy and there are also lots of essential oils available to us. So, like for example, um, when you say magical aromatherapy, it is a process of using oils to put you in a state of mind. To put you in a state of mind. Um, it can be a relaxed or meditative state of mind. When you want to relax, you may use lavender, right? Yeah. In a way, uh, that's already that's already incorporated in magic. Eh? When you're trying to alter your state of mind. So, Gail, how long have you been using oils? How long have you been incorporating essential oils with your practice? And how has it, I guess, enhanced your practice? Okay. So I've been using oil since 2010. Tagal na, 2010, that's 10 years. Yes, yes, tagal na siya. So, may hili kasi ako sa, sa scents. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I love scented candles, I love, I love scented bath gels. Ayoko ng plain lang, ayoko ng may powder lang. It has to be something that evokes emotion. Oh, something that evokes my emotion or if I want to feel sensual, so mga vanilla or mga sugary scent. Mm -hmm. So, Yung, yung love ko for, for perfumes, for soaps, scented soaps, for scented candles, umabot na siya sa scented oils. Mm -hmm. And then, lumaki na siya na, lumaki na siya na ito, uh, uh, ito practice talaga. Naging practice na siya. So, okay, so since I also love reading, I realized na, I've read in some of the books na I can use oils mm -hmm. for rituals to make them, uh, we call this, para to supplement? To aid, to aid your, your spells, to aid in your spells, or para mas mabilis siya mag, mag manifest. Okay? Kasi ang oils, ano siya fire energy siya mm -hmm. Ang fire, mabilis siya mag manifest. Mm -hmm. Like, sabihin natin, oh, mabilis siya mag manifest. Basta anything fire, fire, fire ruled in magic, very quick yung manifestation niya. So, I, I, I noticed, when I did something and I, I'm using oils mm -hmm. and using it to dress the candle because that's the term we use when you're, you're, when you're um, rubbing it on your candles oh. for ritual. Bago mag ritual oh, you dress, you dress my candle mo with oils. So when you're trying to dress the candle, you may apply it in, in a certain direction. For example, you want someone to move away or get out of your life. So, so you pa pa away. You pa away. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. If you want to attract it with your pa, yung ano mo naman, yung pa to you. Yes, correct. That's it. You got it. So, ganun siya. And ang bilis niya nga. Ang bilis niya. I mean, the, the average effectivity that you can measure your uh, your spell with is uh, two weeks to a month. Mm. Two weeks to a month. So, kasi sinusundan mo yung moon phases also. So, ang dami na topics, no? Mm -hmm. So, ano muna tayo? Then, then muna tayo sa spell. So, 
two weeks or a month bago mo makita kung effective ka talaga yung spell mo. With, with the candle spells that they use, siguro maximum three weeks meron talaga siya. Mm. May something kagod siya. So, so mm-hmm. I really love it. So, the, the most common things we use in magical aromatherapy is lavender, uh, lemon, orange. So, let me first discuss the importance of knowing the the correspondences of every uh, oil ingredient. So, okay, so magical aromatherapy can be used when you're trying to cleanse your home or uh, or refresh the vibe of your home or certain parts of your house. For example, if you have a library and your daughter studies there, right? So sometimes when the when the online classes take take a little too long, you can use some orange essential oil to create some, you know, to freshen up the, the energy of the room. That's right. So basically, the orange oils tends to put us in a creative mood or lifts us up like like in just um, in, a, in, a, in a few seconds, you'll, you'll feel uplifted already by using orange or anything citrusy actually. Actually, Tama. So, yes, yes. That's why you, when you notice in hotels, you, they always use lemon or anything citrusy in the hallway. So people can be, you know, can really get in, in the vibe, right? So let me discuss uh, further. By knowing the proper correspondences of the herbs and flowers, because diba, essential oil, oils are extracted from, from plants and flowers, right? Mm-hmm. So you need to learn the correspondences of those things. So me to say, when you say correspondence, every herb and flower corresponds to a certain hierarchy in the plant or herb kingdom. So, for example, um, when you say... Um, when you say... When you talk about cinnamon oil or essential oil, cinnamon is... Um, ruled by the planet Mars. So when you say Martian energy, it's fiery and it's it provokes a person or a situation or uh, it provokes a person to action. So when you're trying to attract someone, you, you usually you use the cinnamon oils to... Uh, you, you, you use cinnamon oils uh, in a ritual. So since you cannot use essential oils directly on your skin, right? You may use carrier oils. So when you're trying to use um, essential oils or incorporate them with your rituals or magic, you may first use base or carrier oils. Uh, here are the, the base oil uh, that is commonly used in magic. Okay, so almond oil um, is ruled by mercury and the element of air, best used for prosperity, money, and wisdom. So when you're trying to create an oil, for prosperity, wisdom, and money or uh, money attraction oil, you may use almond oil as your base oil, and then um, apricot oil. Okay, apricot oil is ruled by Venus and the element of water. It's best used for love, beauty, attraction, and abundance blends. So when you're trying to create an oil to attract love. Or to create abundance in your life, you may use apricot oil as your base oil. So, we're going to discuss today about magical aromatherapy. When you say magical aromatherapy, it is a process of using oils to put you in a state that you desire. It can be a relaxed or meditative state of mind. Okay? So, when you want to relax, you may use lavender. When you want to meditate, you may use mint. Because mint puts you in a relax, relaxed mood, right? Mm-hmm. So, you ever notice when you're in a spa, they always use mint to put the, the clients in a relaxed mood. Tama. So, yeah. So, magical aromatherapy can also be used when you're trying to cleanse your home. Yan. Yan ang isa sa mga common na uses ng magical aromatherapy. It's commonly used at home also to cleanse the vibe of your home. So when you are trying to, let's say for example, cleanse the space, it is not enough that you use incense or salt. Sometimes you need you need something more powerful, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So essential oils, kasi they are fire energy. Okay, they are considered as fire energy. So when you use it to cleanse a space, it's more potent than most sage or for instance. So when you're trying to refresh the vibe of 
your house or your home or certain parts of your your house, um, you can use, for example, it also depends on on which part of the house you're going to use it with. So, for example, if you're going to to if you want to refresh the vibe of your living room, you mm-hmm. may use some mint or something citrusy. Because it's where people congregate it. And usually, that's where most people release their emotions and where people leave stagnant energy as well or, you know, negative energies that's that, that that's coming from, from the emotions that they feel or whatever. So, you also have to know the properties of your oils and how or where to use them. So, you may reap the benefits of these essential oils okay so for example um you want to bring back the spice in your life inside the bedroom so you can use cinnamon oil rose oil so we're going to talk about how to blend them later but for now the basics so don't come excited <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, para, para hindi, hindi sila naguguluhan. so for now Ito munang ano, pinaka basic. So, sa house, magical aromatherapy is very essential. That's why we notice and daming nagpanda. Sobrang common ngayon ang mga diffusers, ang mga essential oils. Kasi stress tayo eh. And when we go home, we want to relax, right? That's true. So, when, when, diba, it's the only thing we can afford near, uh, I mean, compared to a spa. It's our daily, ano eh, daily escape. And yeah. Daily, uh, Diba, our home is our safe haven, so we we should feel that it's actually where we feel safe and comfortable at the end of the day. So magical aromatherapy comes in. Okay. Yeah, sobrang lakas talaga ng mga essential oils if you notice. So now, I can also suggest, if you have a baby at home, you may use lavender oils. Kasi sa room ng baby, you want you want a, a gentle but protective energy. Ang lavender kasi, it's famous for attracting sympathetic fairies or spirits and elementals who are protective to children okay so you may use lavender also it protects their crown um crown and solar ple- plexus okay? what solar plexus okay the uh papasok dyan yung chakra but later na sige <laughs> lalay lalay na siya the solar plexus okay yun yung dito sa may ano sa may tummy banda di ba mga bata minsan nagkakakulik uh-huh kulik okay. yeah Ouchie yung kami nila, hindi sila natutunaman. So, this, this, uh, lavender is one of the best uh, essential oil that you can use, uh, or you can use in your child's bedroom. Para relaxing yung sleep, tapos they won't wake up with that ouchie tummy. Okay. So, okay. So, if you also want to, Actually, our magical aromatherapy is also good for ano, for sacred spaces at home. I highly recommend it. Like for example, diba, um, uh, you may set a, a certain area in your home where you may meditate, mm-hmm. where you may be able to self-reflect, you know, and then you can also use a diffuser there while you're meditating to put you in the mood. For example, uh, I want to meditate. Because I want to reflect on my actions today, and also I want to focus on, uh, on manifesting my intentions. So okay, ask yourself, Mona, what is your intention? Uh, okay, I want to, I want clarity. So if you want clarity, you diffuse peppermint oil. I yes, peppermint oil and uh, um, also chamomile. So chamomile relaxes you, and you can mix it with peppermint oil because peppermint oil kinda. The, um, removes the 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 brain fog in our minds. Okay. That being said, I guess it gives you an idea of how oils can be used at home, right? Yes. So how you can harness the best benefits for you and your family. How you can incorporate oils to alter your state of mind. For example, if you're in a bad mood, these oils can really help you uplift your mood. Okay. It's very helpful, and I think a lot of people and moms. And you know, even even uh, single ladies, you know, they they know how how to do self care by using this essential oil. So that's one of the things that I've noticed recently that there are lots of people who now appreciate 
um, using essential oils. Okay, so these are the things that that you may use them for. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering. Okay, if uh, an essential oil can alter our state of mind, can uplift us, can influence our feelings, can clean or can renew the energy of the room. So, can we use it in manifesting or in adapting something in our lives as well? The answer is, of course, absolutely. This is why um, practitioners of the craft also use oils and essential oils uh, and incorporate them in their magic. Okay. okay. So, you see, the only thing that we have to know here is correspondences. Okay. Wait, Gail. So, just so everybody is clear, what do you mean when you're practicing the craft? Um, okay, spell crafting for Wicca. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the Sabina. Then, um, this is one of the uh, paths that uh, most women uh, follow when it comes to their daily, daily, daily path of life, mm -hmm. and sometimes. Others who are trying to find healing find themselves practicing Wicca. Mm -hmm. Wicca kasi, um, it's, an, it's, a, it's a practice wherein we use nature and harness their energies. So we may change aspects in our lives for, for our highest benefits. Okay. So how long have you so, been practicing na? I've actually, I've practiced Wicca since I was 16. But I've already poured into I've already poured into more uh, advanced magic recently. So I can say I've already had my adventure with Kabbalah practices. Um, uh, and recently Freemasonry and and actually so much more. I I'm actually an eclectic witch. So. You can say that I derive my practices from many inspirations. Mm -hmm. As long as it's, you know, good <laughs> mm -hmm. and I can use it for 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 the highest good or benefit of me and other people as well. So the question is, if an essential oils can be used to influence energies or people, can we use it in manifesting as well or in rituals? Of course you can you may use it to to uh, to manifest or to attract. Okay, so you see, herbs are used to make uh, the herbs and flowers used to make these oils corresponds to planets, gods, and days of the week. Mm -hmm. Okay, by knowing the proper correspondences of the herbs and flowers used on your essential oils, you can harness the necessary energy and kick or boost that you need to make your intentions come into reality or to manifest your intentions. So, allow me to quote Lady Rhea, one of the one of the authors of my favorite book, The Enchanted Formulary, that's where I started. That's the book that has inspired me to create my own oils, okay? So, according to the laws of magic, those of us, and those of us who practice it, Everything has a property or, or a plane of correspondence. A world of magic which could be thought of as a kingdom. For example, the plant kingdom rules over the magical properties of herbs, flowers, trees, fruits, and all living green matter. Okay, so what do oils represent then? An alchemist creates oil and they belong to the realm of creative magic. The magical properties of perfume and fragrance have enchanted the human race since ancient times. Our quest for aromas is a never-ending exploration. Diba, when you notice, the magic and power of aromas. When when we smell, or when we catch a whiff of that old perfume that reminds you of your mom, or the, something that reminds you of your uh, high school days, or of your crush, diba? It's a it's a bottle of time travel. Correct. A time travel, diba? Correct. You see, it, it reminds you of so many things. Oh, this this scent reminds me of my baby. This scent reminds me of of my first uh first love. Something Correct. Like that. Okay, so the thing is, oils are really magic. They make us remember 
so many things and you know they make us connect with with other realms as well so how do we connect with other realms using oils this is why you really have to know the correspondences or what every herb uh, and flowers corresponds to for example correspondences meaning I actually suggest the book Llewellyn's complete book of correspondences um, a comprehensive and cross-reference resource for pagans and Wiccans by Sandra Pines. So this is where you can check your correspondences when you're trying to incorporate essential oils into magic. So for example, you want to use uh, cedar. Okay, Cedars, uh, Cedar rules over the, the zodiac sign, Aries, Taurus, and Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the um, element niya is air, earth, fire, and water complete yung element niya. So, ang cedar, ginagamit siya as offerings for the gods for yeah. whatever deity you worship. So, for example, you have an essential oil na cedar. You don't know what to do with it. Di lang naman siya pang relaxation eh. Some, some people kasi they like yung matatapang na scent to mm -hmm. relax them. But, you know, cedar can be used as an offering or to to set the mood of your of your, of your altar Correct. before you uh, pray, before you lift your prayers to whoever you worship. Okay, so that's it. That's one of the uses of cedar. So okay, um, the planet that rules cedar is Jupiter, Mercury, and the Sun. So if you're asked, if you want to me to say uh, Jupiter, so pwede mo siyang deleted for. Uh, for attracting wealth or seeking guidance when it comes to expansion or or when you're trying to ask for luck and abundance in your business mm -hmm. okay you can also use it to uh, let's say um, increase your personal magnetism cedar is matapang usually you can incorporate it in spells for men to increase their magnetism, mm -hmm. okay? Especially, let's say, if they're a politician and they're quite older na, ayan, pwede sila mag -cedar. Okay, so later, I will discuss about uh, oil blend. So, ito muna tayong correspondences. So, this is why correspondences are important. Kasi, dun mo malalaman, saan ang gamit niya? How do we use this? So, if this if this essential oil is ruled by fire, there are four important elements, eh. Fire, water, earth, and air. Mm -hmm. So you need to categorize your essential oil. Where do they fall from this uh, element? Okay, so if they fall from fire, okay, it's used to it's used to um, create or excite passion. It's used to it's used for creativity. It's used to um, to also provoke anger actually. Because may dual quality ang uses ng mga oils. You can use it both ways. Eh. You can use it for good and bad, but I'm not going to discuss the bad, just the good, okay? <laughs> so, for example, if your essential oil is ruled by the by the element of water, you may use it to heal someone's trauma. For example, marami siyang pains and love, ganyan. So, you can use it to cleanse someone from their negative emotions as well. Let's start with ano, the magical properties of carrier oils. Okay. Um, I'm going to discuss about the magical properties of carrier oils because I'm sure some of you want to blend their own oils and I'm sure some of you also want to be able to put it on their skin. Yeah. Okay? Because you cannot use essential oils directly. It will, you know, cause allergies and actually it has a burning effect. Eh. I, I tried once, eh, tapos I kept washing my hands, it's siya. What did you try? Um, I think it was ano eh, winter green. Na natutluan yung kamay ko kasi because of that dropper. Um, medyo faulty yung dropper. Nangulog siya. Tapos ayun. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely so, ano. Because that's a hot oil. And what do you do I, about that? Anong ginawa mo? Wala. I, 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 I turn on the tap, the cold water, and then I wash my hands immediately. Ang init na kaya. <laughs> yeah, dapat. You should have um, applied next time when you have accidents. Here's what you'll do, no? So, dapat lalagyan mo siya ng oil. I mean, carrier oil. So, you put any, kahit cooking oil, 
para hindi siya pumasok sa skin. So it helps yeah. block and then I learned my lesson the harder way. Yeah, kasi water and oil they don't mix. So kahit na i-rinse mo siya, it's not gonna uh, do anything. So you have to put oil. I see it's still going to Ah, okay. Something I learned. Huh? <laughs> okay. So the magical properties of carrier oils. Okay. So actually marami carrier oils, but you really have to know also how to use them. Correct. And also in what kind of spells we can use them for. So, okay, I'm going to discuss almond oil. Almond oil is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is the planet of communication and technology. So basically, communication. If you want to bring uh, good news to your doorstep, you may use almond oil, okay? If you're, for example, if you're dealing with social media, uh, if you're a personality in the social media, you may use almond oil as your carrier oils for the lens that you're going to use. Let's say, for example, you want to to be, uh, let's say, you want to be well known in the social media. You may use almond oil, and then you may create a blend of essential oils that is also um, ruled by the by the planet Mercury and also by the sun. So I'll discuss that later. It's okay. Okay. Almond oil is ruled by Mercury and the element of air. Best use for prosperity, money, and wisdom plants. Okay, wisdom because you use mind, baby, right? Yeah. So how do you how do you extract uh, wisdom? So you really have to be also to uh, basically it. Uh, um, almond oil is used also used for oils that um, um, make your thinking sharper, something like that. Okay, so best use for prosperity, money, and wisdom plants. So okay, let's discuss apricot oil. Apricot oil is ruled by Venus and the element of water. It's best used for love, beauty, attraction, and abundance plants. Okay, so when you're going to use apricot oil as your carrier oil, um, you may use it for for love spells or oils that you use for love spells or for attraction spells or for abundance and beauty spells, okay? So I'm going to discuss later certain blends that um, that you may use apricot oil for, okay? So avocado oil is ruled by Venus and the element of water. Best for love, lust, fertility, beauty, and beauty blends. Okay, castor oil. Castor oil is ruled by Mars and the element of fire. Oh, best for protection or returning to sender blend. So, for example, if you use castor oil, um, you may use it for aggressive magic. Uh, if you're going to use castor oil, it is best for protection or returning to sender blends. Okay, so when we speak of returning to sender blends, it is the type of oil wherein you use it for magic that returns to sender the, their malefic attack. Okay, for example, someone sent you uh, jinx. <laughs> or ill wishes, you can use castor oil for that to return it to them. Castor oil is really hot and aggressive kasi. So if you want to, to avenge yourself, uh-huh. like for example, damaging yung nagawa sa'yo, so you can use castor oil for aggressive magic oils, okay? So coconut oil naman is ruled by the moon and the element of water, best for purification and protection blends. I think coconut oil is you is um can be also used for uh, for um for like for example if you want if you want to to bring the truth out of a certain situation. Okay. So okay, so next is the grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is ruled by the moon and Saturn, the element of water. So best for healing, love, psychic ability, and meditation plans. Okay, so the next is jojoba oil. It's ruled by the moon and the element of water also. So this is best used for healing and love blends. So when you're trying to create um, something that heals, for example, with your emotion, if you just came out of a horrible breakup, you may use jojoba oil. Um, as your base oil for a blend that would make you move on or recover from, um, you know, from painful experiences in your life. Okay, so the next is olive oil. Olive oil is ruled by the sun and the element of fire. 
best for healing, peace, anointing oils, and protection blends. Okay, and I think this is the last one, sunflower oil. Sunflower oil is ruled by the sun and the element of fire. It's best for protection, fertility, health, amplifying your presence, and personal magnetism. Okay, kasi sunflower, di ba? It's ruled by the sun as well. So Correct. when you're when you're ruled by the sun, it's really hard to to deny your presence. Say you need to get noticed everywhere you go. So I use sunflower spell to enhance beauty or anything that you want to enhance. Okay. However, you may also use essential oils. Kasi kunwari gagamitin mo ng essential oils. You're not going to use it in a ritual. Gusto mo lang iola. Pwede naman. Kasi meron namang sariling um, magical properties in essential oils alone. You don't have to. It's not really necessary to use it with, uh, to, to mix it with carrier oils unless you're going to use it on your skin. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah. So, as long as you're not going to use it directly on your skin, if you're not pregnant or you're not going to use it on your baby skin, walang problema. The essential oils can be used as is. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm going to discuss a few essential oils that we commonly use. So people may know the magical properties that they have, okay? So, cedar is used for purification protection, prosperity. You may use this for altar as well. You may put a small diffuser diffuser to prepare the mood of your altar before you do your your offerings or prayers. Okay, cinnamon. Cinnamon is for enforcing love, to enhance the passion in the bedroom or bring back the spice in the couple's life. Okay? Chamomile is for promoting relaxation and peace. You may use this for babies during bedtime or to calm down hyperactive kids during nap time or especially on peak hours like mga 12 noon to 3 p.m. Sobrang active sila. You may diffuse chamomile and then that's it. That's it. Basically, it, it will influence them to calm down and relax. You know, chamomile is very powerful. I've used it with my own daughter and, because she's very, very hyper. And you know, every time I just, I just, I did you use it, she would just sit down and ask for a story. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's one very magical use of chamomile. So uh, uh, um, also eucalyptus. We uh, eucalyptus can be used to refresh and renew the vibe of the room inside the house, especially if that house, uh, if that part of the the house, that if, if it's a part of the house that just experience um, a, a negative release of emotions. So mm-hmm. For example, you and your husband fought there. Yeah. You may refresh the vibe of that room by using eucalyptus. Yeah. So basically, anything, any part of the house that has um, that has stagnant energy. Like for example, pwede siya gamitin if you have a room that you were supposed to use, but you you it, it it's now become a bodega mm-hmm. or it's now become an attic. So you may use it before you before you do try to renovate that part of the house or before you try to use it again. You may try to clear this the stagnant energy because it it will really make you feel sluggish when you use that room without cleaning it. Yeah. So eucalyptus is very very perfect to uplift the the vibe of that room again to freshen it up. Is it same okay. to use any other mint oils? Yes, it's the same as long as it's anything minty. So pwede siyang peppermint. Pwede siyang um, peppermint, yes, but pero ang winter green kasi um, winter green is usually used for money. Eh. Oh. So it, you can choose between ano lang eucalyptus or peppermint. Hmm. Kasi winter green is matapang and it's also the scent of freshly printed dill. Oh yeah. Oh nga. So, yeah. So you may you, you may use it uh, sa mga cash register. You may use it there. Oh. Lalo na yung oh, pwede ka mag-diffuse doon for example sa business mo or sa may near cash register or where people uh, like, like for example um, the door where uh, the uh, what do you call this the door where people mostly mostly enter or exit uh, in your in your shop that's you can diffuse um, a winter green oil in there is it to attract money attract money and also for ano siya mga windfall ng money oh wow 
Magbubudbud ako ng winter grain. <laughs> Pwede mo siyang i-mix-mix with other essential oils also. Para oh. you, may, you may get the desire that you may, you may get to manifest your goal. For example, gusto mo ng, ano, um, for example, gusto mo siya ng uh, consistent, uh, consistent yung pasok ng customer mo. So, mm-hmm. you may also use a bit of orange. Kasi, it will make your, your, your area, um, it will attract the vibe of, ano, ano ba yun, parang active-active yung shop mo. Mm-hmm. So, orange, it livens up the place, eh. Correct. Kasi ang winter green money, lang siya, attract niya lang money mo, pero you also need to, to make sure that your place looks alive. So, yeah, looks full. Water, right? Mm-hmm. So, oh, oh, yes, yes. So, that's it. You may mix, you may mix those two. So, let's go with frankincense. Personally, I use frankincense for setting the altar and calling it from sympathetic guardians and noble spirits, angels, or simply as an offertory thanksgiving to a deity that I worship. So, for example, before I pray, set ko muna yung altar, uh, lagyan ko muna siya, mag-diffuse ko na ako ng frankincense, and it's a good enough essential oil to set you in the mood also for, for you know, for worship. Okay. So next is jasmine. Jasmine, an essential oil, is used to have sweet dreams. So if you're having insomnia and bad dreams lately, <laughs> weird dreams, mga ganyan, you may use jasmine to soothe your um, subconscious mind. Sometimes even, ang jasmine, sometimes they use it for prophetic dreams. Yeah. Some some people naman, some, some practitioners, they use it to, to ano, for... for they diffuse it to see their soulmate or or their next love or mga ganyan. So, but basically, the, the basic use of jasmine is really to to give you a deep sleep and sometimes for ano siya, for good dreams. And it's also perfect for attracting love, especially if you are single. Is so it- for example, mag diffuse ka na jasmine, oh, bago ka mag-sleep, you may wish na, oh, please, uh, um, Bring me the, the love that is worthy of me. <laughs> you know, something that I won't lose na. <laughs> yeah. So you may use jasmine. Also, ilang-ilang, ilang-ilang is perfect for attracting love and making sure it stays. <laughs> okay, so next is lavender. I think I've discussed this already. Uh, lavender is perfect for baby rooms where you need to maintain gentle but protective energy. Okay, lavender attracts good fairies and elemental spirits. Mm-hmm. Babies need protection as well, especially in their room, uh, in their crown, heart, and solar plexus. So, di ba yung punpuna nila? Hindi naman nakaplose pa. So, yung crown, mm-hmm. yung heart, and solar plexus. Maganda yan. Di maganda gamitan ng lavender. So, lavender is perfect also for baby rooms where you need to maintain gentle but protective energy. So, lavender attracts good fairies and elemental spirits to protect your child or baby. Uh, babies need protection din kasi. Okay, so ang lavender, it's used to protect the crown, heart, and solar plexus. Di ba pansin nyo minsan yung babies, kakapolik sila sa gabi. Kung kailan gabi na, natutulog sa biglang iiyak, kung mm-hmm. then may pain sila sa tummy, right? So, so you may you, you may diffuse lavender kasi it's also very, very good to make sure that your baby doesn't have tummy aches or, uh, what do you call this? for issues with their crown or heart chakra class. Okay, so lavender keeps a baby smooth balance as well. Okay, so next is lemon. You may use this in areas where people always pass by. Like for example, your lobby, your foyer, always to ensure that the space is always uh, renewed and purified. Okay, lemon kasi yung scent niya is a scent of um, an energized, um, uh, what do you call this? Sorry, lemon is lemon promotes the the scent of ane, good energy, eh, you know. Um, so you may use lemon to an area of your house where there's always activity, there's always people also congregating, and where people usually hang out to make sure that the energy of that area is always renewed and purified. So like you said earlier, it's the same, um, like you said earlier, we can interchange lemon with other citrus like lime, calamansi. Yes, yes, yes. It's lime, oh, anything citrusy. 
Yes, parang hindi rin sluggish. Sorry. Parang hindi rin sluggish yung ano. Hindi rin sluggish yung area. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, peppermint is perfect for business areas or near the cash, cash register. So, it's the same with with eucalyptus. Mm-hmm. Parang sila. Peppermint, you may use them both sa may cash register nyo or anywhere where there's ano, a transaction of money. And wintergreen. Okay. Winter, uh, 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 winter green, and also I don't know. Um, yes, yes. For uh, winter green and peppermint, pwede rin siya for money. Because peppermint is also used for I uh, for for money spells. But mostly used kasi si winter green, so it can be interchangeable. Okay, so okay. Um, let's now discuss magical blends. Yeah. So. I'm going to share a few magical blends that you may be you may be able to use for but you can also tweak this high you can customize at will correct so magical blends I'm going to discuss ano, protection oil so this is an aggressive protection for the home kasi minsan di ba meron we let's admit it we have unknown enemies eh. may mga inyip di mo sinakilala but they know you mm-hmm. they don't like how how you are you how you make your life seem so easy breezy. Mm-hmm. So you want to protect your home from people who pass by or people who who send ill wishes to you and your family. So okay, so what should you use? Um, okay, I'm sure everybody knows the, the 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 bottles that you have to use for this one. Any bottle would do as long as it's dark. Kasi nga di ba pinis naging rancid pagka katamaan ng ng sunlight, sunlight oils, yeah. Diba? Yes. So kailangan niyo dark bottles. It doesn't matter how big or how small, but I think you start with small one muna kasi matapang din naman siya. Eh. So you may use for this one, the protection oil, you may use castor oil. Kasi like I said, castor oil is Martian root or Mars root. So it's a very aggressive magic. It will it will fight back. If it senses an energy that's trying to attack the house, it will fight back, so it will return to sender, or it will it will um, give back to the sender what they sent to you. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if it's an ill wish, like ah, sana na malasin sila yung malasin. Mm. Simply put, it's like siya. protection. Okay. Protection to siya na aggressive, na nanakit siya na protection. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so base or carrier oil mo dito should be castor oil. So okay, you may fill your bottle halfway. And then four drops of basil, essential oil. Or kung wala kang basil, sabi natin, mahirap kasi baka mamaya out of stock or whatever, you may use basil herb. It's the same thing. Pwede mo siyang gamitin. As long as it is, ano, um, uh, represented by, by, by the same, by the same ingredient, kahit any, any form, pwede mo siyang gamitin. So, for example, wala kang basil na oil, you can use, um, basil herb. But if you have an, a basil EO, then you may use four drops of it. Okay, so three drops of geranium, um, two drops of pine, one drop vetiver, vetiver, sorry. Um, okay, that's one drop vetiver, vetiver only. So, yan siya. You may use this, um, you may use this on your windowsill, mm-hmm. you may use this on your door, and Basically, pwede, pwede mo naman siyang i, ano eh, i, i-wipe lang. Smudge. Or i-wipe lang dito sa, oh, yeah, pwede mo siyang i-wipe sa, let's say, sa door mo. Kuha ka lang ng parang tela. Yeah. Some of it sa may door, sa may windowsill, that's enough protection already. Okay? So, okay. Um, you're also going to have to use visualizations here. Kasi mm-hmm. it's not enough na ipukunas mo lang siya. So, when you're trying, when you're, when you're wiping it on your windowsill, on your door, you have to visualize that it's creating a, a, a fiery shield mm-hmm. in your house. So, imagine mo na parang may fire na mag-shield sa, at saka mag, mag-absorb or mag-susunog sa mga hill wishers or mga attackers mo outside. So, you have to, to have a strong visualization also. Oh, okay. but you're not... Ayun, eh. Mo hmm. Pero you're not naman wanting them to talagang burn at stake, right? You're just imagining it. No, no, no. Just their wishes. No, no, you know, no, you're not going to burn the, the, the person. Just the wish. You don't know them, eh. No, you know, yeah. you don't know them, eh. You're 
it's just going to burn any attack, malicious attack. Oh. So, for example, imagine nyo siya as dark energy na binabagto sa bahay nyo. So, you're going to visualize anything that is being thrown at you na maitim, na mm-hmm. dark. And then, you imagine, you visualize that the 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 fire or the, the, the fiery protection on your wall or on your windowsill or on your door will burn it and dissolve it. It will not harm any of your loved ones, your family, your business, your pets, whatever. Mm-hmm. Ganun siya. Mm-hmm. You know, magic is very complicated. Yeah. And these these are the things that we may use to aid us in manifesting our intent or goal. Pero syempre, you have to practice. Practice makes perfect. So sometimes, ano ba visualization? Some people who are not very creative or visually adept, they tend to, paano ba gagawin yun? Correct. Ano, they need to be guided. Oh. Right? So, kailangan, i-elaborate mo pa yan. So, maybe in the next topic na yan, kasi for now, oils mo na tayo. Sige. Okay. So, so healing oil naman, kasi I think it's also essential that when we protect ourselves, we also learn how to heal ourselves. Correct. Right? Kasi, syempre, you know, dami tayo mga problems, worries, mga insecurities, mga, mga anxiety. <laughs> yeah. So, healing oil. So, ang base natin dito is jojoba oil. Kasi neutral to eh. Mm-hmm. Neutral siya na oil. So, you can use it for general purpose. So, two drops of chamomile, two drops of myrrh, and three drops of lavender. Ang lavender, magandang use to pagka uh, ng Hmm, na-discover mo na may infidelity, mm-hmm. meron kang mga trauma, like for example, you lost someone, you couldn't let go, kasi syempre, love one way nawala, it's yeah. not easy to let go. So you need to heal yourself, but you need to use gentle energy, right? So you may use three drops of lavender for that. So again, healing oil, jojoba oil is your base, two drops of chamomile, two drops of myrrh, and three drops of lavender oil. You may use it sa mga pulse points mo. Pero oh, pwede mo na yan gamitin eh. Sa pulse points mo, kung yung pain mo is sa heart, mm-hmm. let's say for example, yung trauma mo sa heart because, uh, because of your loss, mm-hmm. so you may put it there sa heart mo. And then you visualize it cleansing away the the sludge, mm-hmm. yung, yung feelings mo, yan. Tapos you visualize mo that you're healing yourself and removing the sludge in your heart, heart chakra, okay? So, also, um, you may also um, use it, for example, um, hindi ka makatulog kasi may anxiety ka. Mm-hmm. Dahil mo may iisip or right. may na-discover ka na hindi maganda sa business, sa partner, or whatever. You may use it sa may ano, temple mo. Okay. And you may also, I may, I, may, I may also suggest you to use black cyanide stone. Or black cyanide kasi black cyanide allows you to cord cut. Oh wow, what's or that? It helps you to the black cyanide helps to actually do uh, cut cords with the situation, person, or things that you cannot let go of. Parang di ko to mapatawa. For example, may some tao man yung mapatawa, then you keep thinking, thinking of that person. Nagkakaroon ka na ng hatred, nagkakasakit ka na dahil sa grudge mo and everything. Mm-hmm. You can use that cyanide to let go of those things. Yan yung cord cutting doon. Kasi kaya tayo yung tawag yan ang cord cutting because as long as you are entertaining angry thoughts or or painful thoughts sa situation or tao na nakasakit sa'yo hmm. it means you still have a connection with that person yeah you still have a cord with that person so you have to cut it para makamove on ka and you will feel lighter because you have released a baggage that you don't need Okay, so you may use black cyanide as well along with the healing oil. You may put it under your bed. Mm-hmm. You may put it under your bed. You'll be surprised. But pwede rin siyang gawing pendant actually. Some people, uh, some crystal sellers sell ano, um, pendant type na black cyanide. So you may use that. You may use it. Ma- malakas lang to ha. Pag hindi ka sanay sa energy niya, parang ano eh, um, magulat ka na parang, oh, oh I, I, nakalimutan ko na, oh, may kasalanan pala sa akin itong pakaon ko, parang gano'n siya. Oh. So it makes you forget, kasi it makes you detach eh. Mm-hmm. It detaches you from the, from the, from the memory of that person or thing that hurt you. Okay, so, medyo malakas lang siya, but it's really powerful and very beneficial, especially for those people na, once ma- ma-hurt sila, hindi eh, talaga makalat ko. Mm-hmm. Ang tagal, 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 tagal nilang nag-book, 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 nag-book about it. So, yan, may use that. Okay? 
So, ito naman, luck and money. So, lahat naman tayo, we need luck and money. Yeah. So, okay. Especially at this time. <laughs> yes, nako, no? We need it. Okay, so, <laughs> um, I suggest you use the the base oil na sunflower oil for this one. Kasi sunflower is really cheerful eh. Mm-hmm. And it really uplifts you. So, sunflower um, corresponds to the sun. Okay? And what more benefit planet there is aside from Ju- Jupiter? Luck and money. So, I suggest you use sunflower oil for, for your base oil on this one. Okay? Kasi sunflower is very um, cheerful and uplifting. And it's ruled by the sun. And you know, sun is a benefic planet. Diba? Under the sun, everything grows. Eh? So if you want luck and money, you will need the the aid of the sun as well. Para swertihin ka. Kasi when, when there's um, fire energy, when it comes from, from let's say, a beneficial planet like the sun, it allows you to attract situation or people in your life that would lead you towards financial abundance, mm-hmm. um, opportunities, and um, you'll have the, uh, what do you call this, the right um, state of mind also. It, it allows you to become um, hopeful. Because, of course, manifestation is also all about the, your state of mind. Eh? Mm-hmm. So when you're positive, it's easy to to manifest the things that you want in life, no matter how how impossible it may seem at the moment. Okay, so use um, so okay. Here are the ingredients of the luck or money oil. So use sunflower sunflower oil. Sorry, um, three drops orange, mm-hmm. five drops clove. One drop sandalwood. Okay, bakit clove? Yung clove kasi. Kunwari, wala kang mahanap na oil na clove. Kasi I think medyo mahirap, mahirap hanapin yung clove oils. No, it's very oil. easy. Meron sa Zella Roma. Very easy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, ako kasi I had a hard time trying to find the clove oil. So, you need you need clove oil. So, bakit kailangan natin ng clove oil? Kasi clove oil make sure that you stay on top of things. Oh! It's a dominant, ano kasi, it's a dominant um, influence. Eh. Yeah, it's a very so strong it's oil. Sure strong stuff. It makes sure, it, it ensures that you are able to stand your ground when mm-hmm. people try to disrespect your boundaries. So, syempre, pag ka nagpapa-abuse ka, nauubos din yung swerte at pera mo, di ba? Mm-hmm. When you become another person's um, when, when, when another person reaches off you, like for example, bayan naman ganito, bayan naman ganyan, syempre, di ba? You need to put boundaries as well. So, clove oil um, empowers you. Mm-hmm. It gives you, ano, uh, it gives you personal power as well. So, people recognize you as authority, pero, pero at the same time, they respect you. Mm-hmm. So, maganda to, especially for, ano, for mga timid, timid and, and mga medyo introvert personalities. No, introverted, yes. May yung mga mabilis ma overpower. Let, let's say mabilis na ma-overpower ng, ng mga tao na mas may stronger personality. So you may use this also, luck and money. Um, you may use five drops of clove oil sa luck and money oil mo. Mm-hmm. Para, para, you know, it gives you this kind of powerful aura as well. So three drops of orange kasi it allows a positive activity to happen in your life. Mm-hmm. So... So uh, you are, you know, you know, you know, in a way, you orange because it allows you to attract um, positive opportunities. Kasi marami ng opportunities, but but not all are good opportunities. Correct. Okay? So orange ensures that it's something that you would benefit from. Mm-hmm. So that's it. So okay, love. Ito na love, love or follow me boy na oil. <laughs> I think. Gayuman na ba to? <laughs> this is love or follow me boy na oil okay so follow me boy this is a very old mixture na eh, and it's used in a long long time yeah ago. centuries let's start na to, uh, centuries ago so anyway I'm going to share my recipe yan so, para sa mga wala pang love life girls take note wala pang love life <laughs> <laughs> sa mga wala pang love life sa mga nangangailangan ng 
boyfriend. Okay. 30s and single, take note. <laughs> yes, 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 definitely. So, for the love oil, no drops of jasmine. Okay, kasi like I said a while ago, jasmine attacks love. Mm -hmm. And it, it attacks love, the right love for you. Okay? And then, two drops of rose. Oh. Kasi rose is for beauty also. Mm -hmm. It also, you know, um, um, shows your your sacred feminine side. Correct. The rose, okay? Diba? So, and also, lastly, four drops of vanilla. Kasi vanilla is sweet. Yes. Kasi para siyang, ano eh, nakaka-magnetize siya eh, yung scent niya. True. So, yes, you might, you may, you may also customize things naman. Um, you may also put some crystals like rose quartz mm -hmm. or rhodonite, mga ganyan. Pink, pink crystals for, ano, for attracting love. And, and to make sure, okay, bakit pink crystal? To make sure, kasi ang mga pink crystals, it makes sure na unay no unay self-love mo. Oh, wow. Para maghanap ng love sa iba. Okay? So, kahit na this is a follow me boy oil, it makes sure also na hindi ka ma-overwhelm sa attention on love na isang lalaki na magiging dormant ka niya. That's right. Okay? Pasusunurin mo lang siya, pero ikaw, you're in control of yourself. Mm. Okay? Until such time that he, that you, that you realize that this guy who's following you is it's the one. You're loyal. Mm. Oh, you're in love. 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 Oh, you're in kasi may iba ginagamit sila for for ano for something na malefic oh so, uh, ito naman lastly success oil so I think everyone wants to be successful yes. in whatever they are aspiring right now so for success oil carrier oil would be to is sunflower or almond oil as well almond oil is sweet eh. and you know you need to sweeten the road and mm -hmm. you need to then the ano eh, faith for you eh, para you know you you may meet the right kind of of people who will will bring you to the top as well. Mm -hmm. So success oil, one drop of bergamot, two drops of mint, mm -hmm. mint for money. Yes. Okay. So two drops of cinnamon, and sorry, two drops of of patchouli. Oh. Okay, that's it. So one drop of bergamot, two drops of mint, two drops of cinnamon, and two drops of patchouli. That's your success oil, and your carrier oil for this is sunflower or almond oil. Mm -hmm. So that's basically it. Yeah, so if you have any questions, you may ask, and we may discuss it. <laughs> so, so, so Gail... I'm very curious on essential oils and chakra. Like, can you tell us a little bit about that? Chakras? Yes. Okay. So, um, okay. So, do you have any background with the chakras? Wala. So, like, talk to us if as if wala kaming background talaga. Okay. Sige, basic na tayo. So, okay. In, in the old esoteric beliefs, okay, one of the old ma uh, masters, who practices uh, um, uh, esoteric arts, they believe that we have seven souls mm -hmm. or we have seven points. Okay? Yes. So, anjan yung, yung, uh, wait lang ha, let me, wait lang. Sige. Tapos parang related ba siya sa iba-ibang yes. colors? Yes, 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 it is. So, wait lang, please wait. I'll get, um, I also recommend I would also recommend this book. This book, um, the complete book of chakras by Llewellyn. Okay, so it's a hefty book. Kapal siya. Super kapal niya. Mm -hmm. So, interested ka, I'm sure, because you are into healing, right? Mm -hmm. Sige, sige. So, we have seven points in our body. Mm -hmm. So, these points, pag hindi siya aligned, mm -hmm. we may feel um, as if our life is... 
pan-balance. Correct. Parang harmonious. Mm-hmm. Parang ang gulo-gulo lahat. Lahat na naka-attract mo. Bakit ganito? Palagi ako minamalas. Bakit ganito palagi yung palpak dito sa isang bagay na to? It's because you need... Sorry, sorry, wait lang. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. It's because you need um, align, uh, al- alignment of your chakra. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you need to align your chakra. So let me discuss just briefly the chakras. Yes. Okay, so so we have seven chakras. So the first one is your crown chakra, which is located at the top of your head. Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh so your this chakra is um where you where pag align tong chakra na to, if it's not blocked, mm-hmm easy for you to to see the wisdom in things. So, kung pasok din dyan yung 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 maturity natin. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, when this this chakra is at like, dito siya, at the top of our head. Mm-hmm. So, we are not easily controlled by others. We are not easily brainwashed. Yung mga ganyan. Okay. So, the next one is um the third eye chakra. Mm-hmm. Okay. This one is here. Um, some of some of the new agers call it the pineal gland, mm-hmm. but okay, this is the the uh, the second chakra, mm-hmm. and your color niya is indigo. Okay. Oh. So when when your chakra when your wait na, when your third eye when your third eye chakra is aligned, so intuition. I'm sorry. Is it about intuition? Yes, intuition and psychic abilities, tama yan. Meron ka ng background in short. So, meron kang, meron kang, um, mas enhance yung intuition mo, mas enhance yung psychic abilities mo. And at the same time, you also have, ano, uh, what do you call this, insight and uh, fresh perspective of things. Mm. So, di ba nga minsan, parang hindi, hindi yung makita yung good side ng isang bagay. Sometimes you're your ano your chakra your um pineal gland or third eye chakra is blocked mm. that's why parang some people fall into despair and depression diba mm. oh so yan ang kailangan kaya kaya sila kailangan di align talaga because if it's not aligned or if it's blocked hello mm-hmm. hello yeah i can hear you if they're blocked if they're blocked may kita mo talaga puro pangit yung manifestations natin sa buhay it, it will seem as if you're not you can't do anything right Parang you're always failing. Mm. So Gail, what are the oils that you can use to help align your crown chakra, your pineal chakra? Kasi usually what I use with the chakras are stones. Oh. Stones, crystals, ganyan. So kung kunari, um, the crown chakra is parang ano siya, um, uh, purple yung color niya. So you have to use the uh, purple, purple, what do you call this, purple stones like this, mm-hmm. like that. So, uh, for example, um, the third eye chakra naman, more on parang, ano siya, indigo. Mm-hmm. Indigo yung color niya. So, parang kailangan mo dito, usually lapis, na stone, mm-hmm. or anything that's dark blue. Pero, uh, wait. Kasi I haven't checked on, under eh, on oils and how to use them on chakras. Kasi most commonly used talaga dyan, yung mga chakra crystals. Oh. Eh. Are you so, familiar of Young Living? I'm sorry. Are you familiar of Young Living? Yeah, kaka-member ko lang. Oh, so what's great about that is sa Young Living, I'm not I mean for sure there are other companies who do this also, no. Pero for Young Living, actually the bottles are color coded um parang in reference to your chakra. Ah, talaga. Yeah, so parang that's the parang fastest yun, way. Uh-oh. But I have it kasi, so I cannot really attest to that. Because the usual, the usual um, um, material that we use in aligning chakras are yung parang crystals niya, chakra, mm-hmm. chakra stones. Mm-hmm. So meron siyang mga ano, may mga simple siya doon. Correct. And then you will put it on your points. So that's the commonly, the commonly thing that we, the common thing that you use for ano, for aligning your chakra. By the way, going back to magical aromatherapy, Gail, I noticed here that when you mentioned magical aromatherapy, you wrote it in a way na M A G I C K A L. Bakat may K? Ah, uh, 
may kay kasi may dispute kasi yan sa sa mga magical practitioners and magical yung magic na you slide on the hand using magic you know yung katulad nila David Blaine oh, so we're trying to, to separate uh, yourself uh, uh, distinction oh. na we are not like them it's we're not trying to demean anyone mm. pero there is a difference between what we do oh. okay, from those magicians entertainer magicians and from the occult magicians mm. so may difference sila so yung K iba oh. so, so parang mas <laughs> Yeah, okay, siguro with knowledge kasi. Oh, got it. Esoteric knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> I see. You know, so, you know, mas, matagal lang kasi may dispute dyan eh. So, oh. parang iba siguro, oh, ano lang kayo, para lang kayo yung mga common magicians sa, uh, yung mga entertainer magicians. So, mm-hmm. to, to, to put a divide mm-hmm. uh, and to end that dispute, yun iba, pagdating sa esoteric magic, yung, we usually spend with a K. Oh, so how long have you been practicing uh-huh. this? Is there like a school for this? Or paano ba siya? How do you start uh, it with? Uh, um, actually, with me, I think it's also a calling. Mm-hmm. Kasi with me, I started when I was 16. I was drawn to witchcraft. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I started with astrology. Mm-hmm. And I started with tarot reading for myself. Hindi ako nag-technique pa ng clients na time. But for now, I have clients na. Pero, yun nga, um, during that time, I studied on my own, mm-hmm. and the, the witchcraft materials here in the Philippines is very, very, very limited. Yeah. So I started with Silver Raven Wolf. Si Kachita no author, but she's um, quite controversial kasi tinitira niya yung mga Christians. Mm. Although, ako naman, I'm, I, I practice both um, Catholicism and the craft. Mm-hmm. Kasi, I mean, lumaki tayo eh. When, when you're in a, in a highly religious, when you grow up in a religious country, mahirap is separate sa yung religion na nakadisnan mo, right? So it's really hard to separate yourself from that religion and from from ano from that belief. So I, sabihin na natin, I balance practicing both. Mm-hmm. So for example, anjan pa rin yung prayer school, of course, still attend masses, but you know. When, when there are things that I want to manipulate in my life, mm-hmm. like for example, I want to, I mean, it's always for the good naman eh. Kasi yeah. really can't tamper with free will. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's always the free will eh. And if, and, and if you try to violate that, you can expect to to have something. Abuse. Um, uh, no, you, can, you, can, you can expect some form of karma for that. Mm-hmm. Eh. Yeah. Uh-oh. So, and I think also, so, too much free will can be parang a uh, source of abuse, right? Yes, yes, yes. Pwede rin siya maging source of abuse, lalo na it can brought, it can, uh, sorry, it can bring a sense of entitlement. Kasi Correct. When you have free will, yeah. parang it also makes you feel like you're powerful to do anything. A powerful, invincible, and like, you can do anything, you know? Yeah. So, parang ayaw mo na rin na sasabihan ka. Ayaw mo rin na nakokorek ka. Ando na yun eh. Mag, 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 ano na yan eh. Um, mag, lalaki na siya sa ganong, ano, sa ganong category na parang, o oh, once, hinayaan mo. Like, for example, pick na ka simple example is when you raise a child without boundaries and limits mm-hmm. that child would expect na kahit anong gusto niya, or kahit anong bagay gusto sabihin niya, okay lang. Yeah, walang disiplina. Walang yes, walang disiplina. So it's the same, the same thing. We're given free will, pero it's your responsibility and duty to to control your use of your free will. Hindi yung, kasi wala naman po yung pigil sa'yo eh. After all, matagal ko pa naman ito babayaran. So, okay lang, di ba? <laughs> Isipin natin, ah, the hell with it. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do that. Even if it hurts other people, right? Yeah. Pwede ganun. So, usually naman, with, with, when it comes to my practice, kasi sa tagal ng practice ko, I've already seen so many things that, you know, when you're practicing witchcraft kasi, or, or esoteric, um, um, practices. Um, the spirits, or we call them spirit guides or higher entities, they tend to give you um, different level of lessons mm-hmm. that would that would that is actually meant to break you, so that you will be helpful. Mm-hmm. Kaya marinig mo usually sa amin yung 
um, Dark Night of the Soul. Mm-hmm. Dark Night of the Soul is when you when when you've lost everything, when you feel like you're you're pulla na lang po kamatay ka na. Dark Night of the Soul is really everything that's traumatic and that everything a, a period of your life that when when uh it's a period of your life when everything can go wrong, it will actually go wrong. Mm-hmm. Like for example, biglang oh nawalan ako ng business, oh, nawalan din ako ng husband, nawalan din ako ng anak, parang lahat sister bear ka. And you know why? Kasi, before you're given, um, before you're given power, mm-hmm. you have to be humbled first. Mm-hmm. Because, imagine a man who is arrogant, yeah. who, you know, believes too much of himself already, And I think we've seen it naman eh, sa history, di ba? Mm-hmm. When you give a person too much power and he is an unevolved person, um, look what happens, di ba? War. Yeah. Hitler, okay? So, a lot of of personalities in the past, in, in, in history, who did something, who were given too much power and, and not enough wisdom mm-hmm. or kindness, you know? You can see how they abuse that power, and you will see how how it has affected the entire world. Mm-hmm. Right? So, so before you're given power, you're also um, stripped bare of your of your pretensions. Uh, pretensions, sorry. You're you're stripped bare of your pretensions. You're stripped bare of your of your belief, especially. Mm-hmm. If yung belief na yan is, oh, I'm all that. I'm powerful. I'm, I can do anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, it's not easy. Actually, it's not an easy path, eh. Some people think, oh, you're just worshiping the devil or what? Or you're probably using that to gain money or ano. Actually, hindi, eh. Mas makikita mga practitioners, mas mataas lang talaga yung wisdom nila at saka mataas yung esoteric knowledge nila and yung understanding nila sa world and, and its laws, like mm-hmm. the laws of the universe that they are very accepting of things. They're not zealous or dogmatic. Mm-hmm. They're open to anything. Makikita mo eh, sila yung hindi judgmental. Yeah, that's what I'm about yeah. to say. <laughs> sila yung open eh. <laughs> Correct. I, I mean, I, I hope I'm not going to, ano, to catch uh, some flack. But, you know, <laughs> I'm not saying na bad people naman or whatever yung mga religious people. Yeah. Kaya kanya, lahat naman ng nag-religious at saka mga esoteric practitioners, meron ding bad eggs dyan. Correct. Okay? But, some of these people, you will see them talaga as the most open-minded. Kasi, wala eh. Alam nila na, wala. Uh, we are just souls. And we are just being, um, we are living in this planet for for a certain period of time. And whatever that we have right now, we will lose it. So, hindi sila attached eh. Correct. And that's, probably where one of the greatest wisdom co- uh, can come from. When you are not attached to anything, when you are not attached to your title, to your career, to your status in life, to money, to everything that you have, I mean, you you, you can be, you cannot you cannot take anything anymore from that person and and ano eh, and expect him to be scared. Eh. It's like there's it's nothing to lose. Oh, there's nothing to lose na kasi iisipin niya. So what? Wala namang makawala sa akin after all. You're just giving uh, back what was borrowed uh, to you. Yes. Yes, and everything is temporary. Yeah. Diba? So, ganun siya. Maganda yung ano niya. Uh, so, I've come to, uh, to to adopt this practice and and reap benefits from it. Uh, from uh, Sorry. And reap benefits from it in my personal life. And, you know, so far naman, I can say that it has helped me grow and transform in so many ways. And it has also um, allowed me to see the world and its governing laws, the <laughs> governing laws of the universe, in a, in a very different aspect. Mm. I mean, very basic na yung sabihin mo na what comes around, uh, what goes, goes ar- around, comes around. Yeah. Oh, so what goes around, the, comes around. Very basic lang yan. But when you, when you study the esoteric um, uh, studies, when you, es- when you practice esotericism, um, mag iba yung quality ng life mo mo eh. And for that, actually, I've, I've, I've seen it before. Uh, I've seen it with my own two eyes, how it has um, transformed how I approach um, things. Mm-hmm. 
like how I let go of transgressions of other people. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then how I raise my daughter, how I do my daily routine in mm-hmm. life. Iba yung, ano niya, iba yung wisdom na nabibigay niya sa life mo. Mm-hmm. So, aside from being healed, um, you will see a very different version of you, a very different um, version of your transformation that, you know, um, some people would want to emulate as well. Mm-hmm. Kasi some people, some of my clients will tell me, nasi-stress ka ba? Or marunong ka din bang maghalit? Kasi parang lagi kang positive. Mm-hmm. I mean, I tell them, you know what? Everything happens for a reason eh. So, if I'm going to worry about the outcome or anticipate about these things, paano ko ma-enjoy yung, yung moment na to sa buhay ko? If I keep anticipating things that might go wrong or if I keep wondering, ano kaya outcome nito? And I'm, I'm always somewhere else eh. I'm Correct. I'm present, right? So, ang pangit naman nun, so, lahat ng natutunan ko dito sa practice na to, sa so, okot oh, 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 practice na to, is basically to be where you are and enjoy it. Savor your wings. You worked hard already for it. Mm-hmm. And now that it's already there, stop trying to look in the distance. At uh, the distance na parang, oh, baka meron pa doon. Stop being greedy. Mm-hmm. You know? What's already there, you, you enjoy it muna. After all, hindi rin yan forever. Eh. Correct. So your tribes today may might be taken away tomorrow and then you, you're gonna experience it. Again. So the thing is, you are. You should not be too um, attached to anything. Because life is always. There are no guarantees in life. I agree. Okay. Kaya nasa top ka na, that one day you just wake up and then everything is gone, right? Oh, nga. So you have to be able to. So one of the things that has uh, that's been that the one of the things that I've learned here is yeah, yung being able to just. Let go, let things go and be open. Mm-hmm. Open to all possibilities, open to everything that may arrive. And just be grateful for all the opportunity, right? So gratefulness also, gratefulness mm-hmm. also, yeah. Because, well, when you're not grateful, these things that you have now may not, may not, may not be given again. Mm-hmm. So, pag hindi mo siya na-appreciate, they might, they might be, you know, they might be taken away from you. Mm-hmm. So, basically, that's it. <laughs> so, how do you incorporate then crystals to it? I, I made this. It's called illumination. It's my own blend. Mm-hmm. So, meron siyang crystals sa loob. Yeah, and I think my herbs. My herbs din siya, okay? So, ang illumination, ano siya, it's for night use. It's mm-hmm. to enhance psychic ability, prophetic dreams, stabilize mood swings, healing, calm, and happiness. Mm-hmm. So, itong blend na to, I use this on my temple. Mm-hmm. Lalo na when I'm hyperactive at night, minsan pagka night owl ako, mm-hmm. tapos ang dami kong gustong gawin, I use this para makatulog agad ako. At saka makatulog ako na at least, hindi yung, ano ba yan, gusto kong gawin to, tapos hindi ko nagawa, ganyan-ganyan. Mm-hmm. So, this is very effective. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is very effective. Pang ilan gawa ko na to siya. Cool. So, yes, yes. So, this is, um, I use crystals here. Ang crystal na ginamit ko dito is this, um, uh, clear quartz and sorry, moonstone. Moonstone and clear quartz. So what for uh, what chakra quartz. yung moonstone and clear quartz? Ah, uh, wait lang, wait lang. Sorry, sorry. I'll open this. Sige. Okay, so um, basically kasi ang uh, ang chakra nitong moonstone is usually kasi emotion siya. So I think Ano siya, it can it can be used for the heart as well. Oh. For the heart and um yeah and the third eye. Kasi ano naman siya eh, parang hindi naman siya may wala naman siyang ganong an talaga specific na chakra. Mm-hmm. Pero you can use it, use it for emotion. So I suggest you may use it for your for your heart chakra and your third eye. Cool. So kung masyado kang hyperactive, <laughs> kung ikaw yung tipong konting Mabilis ka ma-distract, mabilis ka ma- hindi ka deep sleep, mm-hmm. parang konting kaluskos lang, nagigising ka kagad or what, you may use moonstone as well. It also helps you balance your your moods, lalo na if malapit ka na, you know, malapit ka na mag-appear, yun. Time of the month. So, oh yeah, 
that's what I usually um, use in my oils. So, meron binibenta mga crystals na chips na siya. Mm-hmm. So, pwede mo siyang ipasok sa mga parang roll-on pipes na container. Yeah. So, so meron, meron ganyan. So, meron din mga chips ng peridot, um, um, amethyst. Amethyst yung may use it for ano, pampakalma rin. Mm. At saka ano, pangtanggal ng mga obs- mga unhealthy obsessions, unhealthy habits. How about lapis lazuli? What's that for? Ang lapis naman kasi it's for ano eh, for wisdom and intuition. So, if for example, you are a manager or, or holding a position, mm-hmm. so work mo that needs um, balance in your decision making, parang hindi ka masyadong imbo, hindi mo i-base sa emotions yung mga decisions mo. Mm-hmm. Very objective. Mo, yes, objectivity. Pag kailangan mo na gano'n, you may, you may use lapis for that. Kasi mm-hmm. wisdom siya eh. Tsaka ano siya, it detaches your emotion from your from your logic. Mm-hmm. So, maganda siya. Oo, lalo na pag uh, mga matataas yung position mo sa work. Kasi, ang lapis, ano siya eh, pang Usually, it's worn by the kings in the ancient past. Hmm. So, nasa breastplate nila yan as ruler. Oh, okay. I see. Para yung, yes. Kaya so, pwede siya sa mga may matataas na position sa company. How about Para for for money? Ano yung crystal to attract money? Um, I suggest pagka, ano, pagka crystal na attracting money, eventually rin. Kasi um, maganda siya mag, ano, mag-attract ng mga opportunities na meron talaga pera, okay? Investments, ganyan. And the right people also will will come to you and offer you the right kind of uh, so natin, collaboration business or opportunity to earn money. Citrine. Mm. Maganda rin siya. Citrine kasi, ano eh, um, why do you use talaga to attract abundance money? Lahat ng gusto mong i-amplify it. But basically, money and abundance in your life. So, ganyan yan siya. Um, what else? How about if you want to attract money. peace of mind? Yung... Gusto mo naman ng peace of mind usually, ano siya, um, amethyst or chevron amethyst, amethyst, clear quartz, hmm. yung mga white crystals or purple crystal. Pero, may ibang purple crystals then that is used for cleansing. Pero, so, that's why I, just, I, I suggest yung amethyst. Kasi it's one of the commonest Correct. crystals that is easily accessed by, that we can easily uh, access or buy. So, mag amethyst or uh, what do you call this? Amethyst and clear quartz. Hmm. Pwede siya. Lalo na pagka, kunwari, ikaw yung magbilis ma, ano, ma-overwhelm sa mga problems. Mm-hmm. Clear quartz. Ito. I'm just curious, Gail. Since you mentioned kanina, you have clients, right? Is there any, like, yes. can you name us very interesting clients that you have? Meron ba dyang artista, hen or what? Politician or what? <laughs> pero, pero, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, pwede. May mga politicians, political families nila. Hmm. How did they discover you? May isang politician na na pwede blind item. Oo, oh, go! <laughs> uh, uh, may isang politician bata na siya tapos ano, pamangkin siya ng isang powerful na matandang politician. Si Vico Soto ba yan? Hindi <laughs> <laughs> uh, Medyo mafioso kasi dating ng uncle niya. Mm. And meron ako isang political family rin na ano, um, from the province also. Mm-hmm political family talaga sila, matagal na silang nasa politics yung family niya. So, na sila client ko. Meron din mga actors, or may uh, actors din, may model. Mm-hmm. <laughs> may chef. Correct. So, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, guys. Hindi lang si, hindi lang si Jeff Tan. Oo, oh, hindi lang si Chinky Chef. Hindi lang, hindi lang siya. Meron pa, meron pa, madami pa. So, may mga famous personalities. Kaya lang kasi, ang tang ay uh, they don't want to ano to and they don't want anyone to know who they are that's right it's so private iba yung mga problems nila iba yung problem din eh correct so, so they can't 
<laughs> yeah. So everyone, I just want to give you a background, no? Because Gail was actually recommended or referred to me by Chinky Chef, another celebrity chef. <laughs> so I was really curious, na yeah. oh, siguro meron to siyang ibang roster of celebrity clients. So tama tayo, guys. Um, I guess that's all for today, Gail. I'm so happy that you joined us today. Um, is there anything else that you would want to promote? Like, is there any, um, your shop? Or how can they reach you? Yeah. Um, you can follow me through Incense Books and Magic. That's my astrology page. So... Um, is it on Facebook or Instagram? For astrology reading. Also, um, Tarophilia for my tarot services and basically that's it so siguro you just wait for my um, book kasi I have a meditation book coming out wow and please follow me on our healing seat page kasi I'm also one of the editors of that page it's a a healing page okay mm-hmm. so holistic and wellness ang focus natin doon mm-hmm. uh, uh, what else? Um, there's also a CD coming out, a meditative CD or the music coming out. So I'm, I'm not sure kung is CD pa siya, but mostly I think lalabas siya sa Spotify or YouTube. Mm-hmm. So that's it. Wow. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Gail. We had like almost yeah. two hour session. Uh, kulang pala siya, no? <laughs> <laughs> Ang saya nga. Thank you so much again for your time. Yes, thank you very much, Jerby, and nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I really enjoyed being in the show. It's overwhelming. <laughs> I got everything. Yeah, you did well, and I'm sure our listeners enjoyed with all the information they've gathered today. Yes, thank you so much, Jerby. Thank you. Yes, bye. 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 <laughs> Alright, so I guess that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed today's session. Don't forget to follow me here on Spotify and soon we will also be available on iTunes. Or to get more updates from me, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at happyoilerph. And I'll see you on the next Live Well with Aromatherapist Jerbico. Bye!